Hold it, hold it, man. Hold it. What, what, what the f is this kid doing in here? Get the hell out of here before I kick your little ass. Man, you click this video, man. You went for a treat. I ain't gonna hold you up much longer, bro. We just gonna get into the conversation. So basically, right, um, we watched Ryan Garcia do a lot of acting out for the past few months, right? Um, he and Devin Haney were supposed to see each other. We watched as uh, they made a bet, right? The bet was just simply um, Ryan was overweight. Uh, Ryan said he wasn't overweight. You get Derek James and um, Ryan's dad trying to stop Ryan Garcia from making a bet with Bill Haney that he was overweight. He decided to continue to go on with it, knowing that he was overweight. Um, he was wearing a weight vest at the moment. Like, it's the craziest thing, right? He's wearing a weight vest saying he's not overweight. Then you get the likes of uh, Devin Haney up in the ante. Devin says, I tell you what, Ryan, $500,000 for every pound you're overweight. Ryan still decides to, to shake on that bet. I'm assuming, right, it's just me, but they say the first three letters of assume is ass, right? So I must have made an ass out of myself because I assumed, right, that uh, Ryan was going to go home and drain whatever extra weight he had, bro, because who wants to lose a meal and a half, right, on pounds, right? Who want to lose that on the scale, right? So I'm like, man, he about to go home and, 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 and dehydrate the heck out of himself to make the weight. Right then, we catch the the, the way in. Uh, Ryan comes in first, and uh, he he seems so happy and amped up. You got Devin coming in, but he looked a little weight drain, bro. Even the announcer said we could see the bones in his face. But go back and listen to the announcers when Devin Haney was coming out to his theme music and he was getting ready to get on the stage. Right then, you see Ryan Garcia. He don't even uh, get out of his gear, bro. He got on the scale in his gear while drinking the beer, bro. The whole nine, right? Then Devin Haney was like, I guess if, if he did it, I'll do it too, right? So basically, in so many words, Ryan Garcia showed no care about becoming WBC champion. The whole nine, right? He shows up three pounds overweight. He had to pay the, the recommended amount of money. And they go on to fight night where he dominates Devin Haney. Get this, right? After the fight, right? After the fight happened, Bill Haney, Floyd Mayweather, they get on the live call, right? The live call was, was kind of deemed as Bill Haney having egg yolk in his face. He was eating crow because his son lost. He gets on the live with uh, Floyd Mayweather and he lashes out, right? Floyd tries to come off as the good guy, right? Man, hey, man, I'm here for you, Bill. The whole nine, hey, I'm definitely need my help. This, that, and the third. They also talked about some street stuff, which is why I didn't cover it because it's kind of like, man, these two old dudes, Man, they ain't gonna do nothing to, to, to take care of the young generation. They ain't doing nothing for the young generation. Bill Haney, you included, and, and Floyd is included as well, bruh. Bill, if you if you, you got paid off selling drugs to the community, bruh, you did more damage than you did good. Floyd, you don't care about nobody but yourself at the end of the day. So it is what it is, right? But she tries to come up as the good guy, but get this, fam. Get this. Now, it's weird, Floyd, that you was trying to play like you was the good guy online with Bill Haney. People tried to blow up on Bill Haney like he was wrong for coming at Floyd the way that he did, bro. But the reason why Ryan Garcia did not take this fight seriously is because he was informed to by Floyd Mayweather Jr. He, wasn't, he was advised to come in over three pounds. Literally, bro. Floyd told me to come in over three pounds, right? He told me, F Bill Haney, whatever. Oh, that's crazy, man. This, this is that, this is like that, that homie that's in your crib and you lost your cell phone and you like, man, where's my cell phone? And I can't find my cell phone. And you got that one thieving homie that's trying to help you look for it. That's what Floyd was doing. <laughs> that's what Floyd was doing. On live with Bill Haney, Floyd. If if you knew this was your plan, you shouldn't have had nothing to say to Bill Haney. You should have just came off like that's what he get. It's funny that you're not standing on business, bro. Here's the thing about my channel, bro. I try to be as subjective as possible. I try to cover everybody, fam. I try to give you guys boxing content, and sometimes, bro, I try my best to be unbiased. Y'all should know, bro. I don't like the PBC, fam. 
I don't like them, fam. I don't like the WBC either. But both of those companies, right, they just, they annoy the heck out of me, bro. And it's mainly because I think of the PBC and their fighters as being Floyd Mayweather Jr.'s henchmen. Now, we know that Ryan Garcia has been trying to get out of his contract uh, with Golden Boy, right? So, Golden Boy, y'all celebrating. If you guys go back and watch, uh, go back and watch the end of that fight with Ryan Garcia and, uh, but uh, Bernard Hopkins and Oscar De La Hoya. Go back and watch. Just if you really just got the fight, go back and watch the end of that fight, bro. Ryan didn't really celebrate for Oscar De La Hoya. Oscar tried to try to talk to Ryan right after he got into the ring. Uh, he tried to talk to Ryan. Ryan turned his head from uh, Oscar like I don't give a fuck and went talking to the fans for a while. Then you had Bernard Hopkins. He was wishing death on you. This, that, and the third. And you did this and you did that, trying to have his back. Ryan didn't care about that either. He didn't, bro. He didn't. Like, you could tell he's no longer a, a golden boy, bro. He's just holding out the rest of that contract until he can move on. Oscar ain't got no say so what Ryan does. He ain't got no say so what Ryan does at this particular point in time, bro. Saying that to say, Floyd, that's fake. That's fake, bro. That's fake. And I get it, bro. The PBC, man, they is who they is, bro. But come on, bro. Y'all trying to hold back Terrence Crawford. We could see it, bro. We can see it. And if you can't see it, bro, I'll explain it to you right here, bro. Terrence Crawford has been trying to get a fight at 154 pounds, bro. He put in his petition for the WBO championship goal. He wanted to see Tim Zhu. I don't care whether nobody believe it or not. He wanted to see Tim Zhu. Tim Zhu was supposed to get Terrence, uh, uh, he was supposed to get Keith Thurman, right? He was supposed to get Keith Thurman. He couldn't get Keith Thurman, right? Because Keith Thurman falls injured, so he wanted to get the win of Sebastian Fondor and Tim Zhu, right? He put in his petition. He did it the right way, the way that you do it in the sport of boxing. That's what happened, bro. And then you get Errol Spence Jr. crawling his ass in the ring, trying to cut off uh, the likes of Terrence Crawford from getting the WBL championship goal. So Bud decides to go holler at Israel Madrimov, right? He tried to go holler at Israel Madrimov to get the WBA championship fight. And then you get Jamel Charlo, who vacated the belt in the first place, bro. Not all of a sudden he want to go and have a fight. Uh, with Israel my dream to try to cut out Terrence Crawford because they Floyd Mayweather's henchmen, bro. Because they Boots better watch his back. Boots, you better watch your back, bro. Because you're taking money out of their pocket. You're not a Floyd Mayweather's henchman. You're taking money out of their pocket. Now, I got Tank on the screen, and I didn't even have to have Tank on the screen. This was the story I was originally going to give y'all. Shout out to Bruce Bain. For dropping that video fam um credit goes to him for this particular photo bro because that's not my photo i wasn't watching uh twitter enough to see this but i believe it yeah i believe it bro i believe this bro here's the craziest thing bro i happen to believe i could be this could just be conspiracy theory at this point but i believe that keith thurman was not injured i believe that was the game plan to get sebastian fundora in the ring with tim zoo I believe that was the game plan, bro. And I think Sebastian Fondor had enough um, film study on Tim Zhu and felt that he could beat Tim Zhu because he was already talking about fighting Tim Zhu prior to Keith Thurman getting the fight. I could be wrong about that, y'all. I could be wrong about that, but I don't put nothing past the PBC. I don't, bro. And Frank, hopefully you get this W, fam. <laughs> hopefully you get this W, man. I'd rather see Frank Morton as the guy. But he got Tank Davis, bro. We got Tank Day. Now, this is the article I was supposed to bring you guys. So I'm just bring it to you guys because I got Tank on the screen. Tank is telling Ryan Garcia to just re retire, bro. Just retire, bro. It's best Ryan retires. Now, Davis posted on social media platform X. He, Garcia, is going to get hurt bad, says uh, Tank Davis. So it is what uh, it is. Uh, Ryan Garcia responded by saying, Everyone want to talk about the little stupid Tank. Let's. Uh, fight enough of that funny talk come see me at 144 and let's stop the talk if you be frank martin on june 15th let's run it bro so it is what it is it is what it is man I, bro bro and, and all because you have an issue with bill haney man why floyd just can't just chill bro like 
why he can't be like all the other retired guys and just talk crap? Like, you think about Andre Ward and Canelo Alvarez. Dre just talk crap. He don't really try to, like, get Canelo beat. He just talk crap, right? He ain't trying to mess up nobody else's career. He just talk crap. You think about, uh, what's our buddy name? Uh, Carl Frouch and Anthony Joshua. Carl just talk crap. That's it. He just talk crap. Lennox Lewis just talk his crap, right? Johnny Nelson just talk his crap. They ain't trying to really hurt nobody, but come on, Floyd. Stepping on Terrence Crawford's uh, legacy because you, you're afraid to lose your, your undefeated streak using your whole machine, PBC, whole machine. Like he told y'all on that, on that same night, he was talking to Bill Haney, right? That If you guys go, it was another interview he did with Zab Judah the same exact night, bro. He was saying, I own PBC. Y'all think I don't own PBC? That's my company, this, that, and the third. So all y'all just Floyd's henchmen, and shout out to Errol Spence Jr. if he did, for moving around, man. They say Errol Spence has got a new pr promotion team. Man, shout out to Spence for moving around from that, bro. Who wants to have to fight another man in battles? Floyd, if you really want to get back in the game, just do it. Just do it, bro. Is, is it just me? Is it just me, bro? You can have Manny Pacquiao. I'm pretty sure he'll get back into the ring with you. You got uh, 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 Robert Garcia. He just got out of the ring. You can go get you a, 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 a Triple G fight if y'all want to. It ain't that big of a deal. You can fight whoever you want to fight, man. Nobody ain't going to say nothing to Floyd Mayweather for stepping back into the ring. But come on, man. This stuff got to stop, bro. This gotta stop, bro. I, I, I ain't Tank left around left from around him too? God dang, bro. Like, man, Devin Haney loses what could have been a fair one. Thanks to Floyd. And he he and then the craziest thing, right? He tried to come off as the cool guy on the phone with Bill Haney. Like, hey Bill, uh, oh, you need any help? And then they arguing about dumbass. It is what it is, man. This is uh, Fist Factory, man. I'm your host, Nephew. I just found that odd when I seen that photo, bro. And, uh, yeah, man. It is what it is. Uh, I don't think that Tank Davis will fight Ryan Garcia. I just don't because uh, Ryan Garcia got a game plan now. I'm pretty sure Tank and team knows exactly what's going on. And they're not about to risk Tank to Ryan Garcia. They not. But if they do, if they do allow Tank to get into the ring with Ryan Garcia, I would love to see what happens in the second fight because Ryan, bro, you leaving your ribs open like that, Tank gonna gut you like a fish, bro. That's just my honest opinion. And here's the craziest thing about it. For, it's been nearly a week now. All Ryan has done it's still kick dabbing while he's down. Like, bro, that's that's a dead horse, bro. You already won, bro. I mean, you ain't going to have no class even in victory. Where's all that Jesus talk, bro? You ain't doing that now. You just got to find a way to bad mob Devin as much as you can. You done showed y'all purses. The whole nine, what you made in the purse. You didn't realize that you was Tank Davis's bitch for like a whole two or three months. We ain't going to avoid that idea because you beat Devin. Like, you act like you ain't never won a, a big fight a day in your life. That's how you're acting right now, fam. Like, no offense. I'm not here to I'm not here to bad mouth Ryan Garcia, but come on, bro. Like, cut it out at this point. You being you being Floyd's B word too. Excuse my French, but you are. And that contract that Tank had on you, bro, was a a a a, a, a slight contract. Who idea you think it was to get you dominated like that in the ring? You think that was Tank's idea? Who you think Tank's lawyer is? Leonard Ellaby, right? Who's Leonard Ellaby's right-hand man? Or, or who's Floyd Mayweather's right-hand man? Leonard Ellaby, bro. This is Floyd's game plan that destroyed you too, Ryan. So, yeah, you got one over on Devin, but they got one over on you too. This is trash, bro. Like, you could have you could have showed up and, and gave it your all, bro, win, lose, and draw. But it is what it is, man. Game recognized, game real is real. It is what it is. Who am I to complain about it? I'm just saying that shit's trash. But this is Fist Factory, man. I'm your host, Neff. I'm signing out, man. Y'all leave y'all comments and all that. Leave your hate mail if you need to. I ain't mean to go in on uh, Ryan, but it's just some hoe shit. Because, you know, Devin, he bust his ass, bro. He did, fam. He bust his ass. You could see the bone in his face. He bust his ass in training, bro. And he got an O. Uh, his O is gone. Thanks to a, uh, 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 man. 
a, 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 a crappy play by Ryan Garcia and TMT. Again, man, Fist Factory, Neff signing out. Y'all take it easy, there, bruh. Peace. Brawl Night Champions for members only. Party chat debate for a shot at the community board champion. But remember, it's a fight, so don't get knocked out and lose your place in the ranks. Or if you're just here to be a part of the spectacle, that's cool too. Sign up for the first tier to get front row seats to each event and get exclusive content not seen on YouTube. No my tier, but don't get kicked out. See rule books for more details. Oh yeah, ladies and the legends are included if you want to spectate or go for some gold. Brawl Night Champions, sign up now.